Hey guys, um, there's just a brief video of uh, how I did my connection wirelessly for an access point to my other room. Uh, but as you can see here, this is uh, my new router. It's TP-Link Archer C50 model. And uh, so far I'm liking it very well. It's doing very well. Uh, but the uh, only thing is that uh, it still have not solved my main issue, which is uh, the uh, signal strength in my other room. Uh, I'm still getting some uh, instability when it's uh, when it's uh, loading up some web pages and also some streaming issues. So I decided to use my older router to make it as an access point, and I'm going to show you how to do it wirelessly. So this is my old uh, stock router. It's a uh, I'm not sure what brand it is, but it's TRG212M. It is actually original from uh, my uh, stock ISP. And uh, currently now, this is in my living, this is in my room. By having this, it will actually help to stabilize the Wi-Fi signal. And so far, I've been using this for about uh, a week now, and it did really help, help me out with the uh, connectivity issues in the room. In terms of the uh, con cable connection wise, there's nothing much to it. It's very straightforward. Um, this is my LAN cable that is going to my laptop. And then this is the uh, power adapter to power up the uh, modem, the router, sorry. So I don't really need to use uh, a LAN cable. If I choose this too, I can actually still use Wi-Fi, but because I am uh, doing a lot of streaming and downloading heavy files, so I prefer to use it as a LAN cable which is actually connected to here right as for the main router uh, it's also pretty it's quite a straightforward connection I have a uh, I don't know if you can see it from here but I have a power adapter here to power up this is the uh, LAN cable that is uh, coming directly from the main unit and then I have another two more devices which is uh, one is connected to my STB box Another one is uh, connected to my uh, desktop. Okay, so before uh, before we go ahead with the settings, the first thing that uh, I want to do is to reset uh, the old router. If you can see from here, that there's a uh, that's a reset button here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, there. I'm going to hook onto the reset button here. Press and hold it till uh, the modem turns off by itself and reboot. So once when it's reboot, you can let go and just let it uh, start loading again. Okay, now that the uh, router has been rebooted and uh, I've already connected the uh, LAN cable to my laptop, so what we're going to do now is to set up the router uh, first before we connect it to the main router. So what you want to do is to go into your browser and then you want to access it to this router configuration. Uh, in usual or in general cases, it's usually 192.168.0.1. Right, so uh, us username as for my case, it's usually admin, and that's it. Okay, now that we're in the uh, login page, uh, usually we'll just need to go and set up the general settings. Uh, I'm going to go into my setup. Sorry, I'm going to go into my wizard. All right, and I'm going to click on setup wizard. Now, since we are not actually uh, connecting directly to the internet, so uh, user account name, password, all is not necessary at the moment. So we're just going to skip this step and uh, go to next. Right, so in here, we are going to set up the Wi-Fi. So first we want to enable wireless and under SSD, you can put in your name anything um, for this uh, demo I'm just going to put it as test one right and then uh, while it's small you can just put it as it is uh, bandwidth you can just put it at this so I'm just going to press next 
And then of course, uh, in the uh, security side, you can always put a, a, a pre-shared key up to you. So for me, right now, I'm just going to put uh, my password. Right. And I'm going to click next. So this is the uh, final page of completion. Then they're going to tell you that uh, this is what you have done. Then what you do is you just need to click submit. And you're done. Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to connect to our main router uh, to access in the configuration. As you can see from here, I've already uh, connected to the main router here. Okay, and then as usual, we are going to go into a uh, browser and we're going to uh, type in the uh, configuration address 192.168.0.1. It's the same as as overall. So in this case, um, there's going to be admin. Admin. And I'm going to log in. Uh, one more time. Admin. Admin. Okay, so now that we're in the uh, router uh, settings page, uh, as you can see from here under wireless, I have two options. I can I have dual band. Basically, I can either connect it to 2.4 or 5G. But uh, as for my case, right now, uh, my older router only supports 2.4G. So what you'll see now is that there's an option at the bottom here that says enable WDS. So I'm going to click on it. Okay. So once we click on it, then there's going to be a scan button here where now we're going to get the uh, main router to scan for the older router. So as you can see from here, these are the available uh, broadband that's around my area and but we only we are only going to connect to the one that we just set up just now, which is on the test one. This was the one that we configured just now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect. And once when we've connected, uh, we can actually put a password if we want to. And then uh, we're going to click save. Okay, so now that we've already established a connection, so what we can do now is uh, I'm gonna disconnect connection from my main router here. And as you can see from here, uh, my laptop is not detecting uh, my access point, which is the older router as test one. So it has already established a connection with the main router, I'm going to just connect it, put in the password, and we're done. Okay, so let's, oops, okay. So to make a quick demo, I'm just going to go into a uh, speed test. Right, I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. Right, so I'm getting about my broadband package is actually under 50 Mac. So right now I'm getting about 20 plus Mac here for download and upload. I'm getting about Twenty plus Mac as well, right? Now uh, to do another comparison, now I'm going to connect it with LAN cable. I'm going to connect it through LAN, which is uh, this one here. I'm just going to connect it here. Right. So I've uh, connected my LAN cable to my laptop. So we're going to do an, uh, the same test again. 
and to see the results. So we're getting a slightly faster speed. Uh, I don't know. In the past two days, I could have. Uh, in the past two days, I've tested and I got in above close to fifty max. Um, I can actually browse YouTube. I can actually go to uh, Facebook. And so far, as you can see from here. Connection is quite stable at the moment. Uh, let's say if I go to um, okay, so you can see the pages are loading up pretty fast. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please click uh, like and if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel for more uh, tutorials such as this. Thank you.